Yeah, so this is a crazy experiment. I have extra isopropyl alcohol, which I have it here. I have lots of it, as you can see, two days or three days before I leave here. Got me some acetone in this, and an old bottle of acetone, and that was all with the trying to remove oil. Two bottles to pour some isopropyl in one, some water in the other, acetone in this one. I'm gonna see if these balls dissolve. These naphthalene balls are actually one for dichlorobenzene, and I'll put a picture in what it is. But it's a benzene ring with two chlorines directly opposite each other. So interesting. It's noted as that is not soluble in water, but interestingly, I've tried to use these to stop the massive centipede that came in, and any more from coming in. Obviously, that one came in already. So I've put it in the sink, well, in the drain of the um, bathroom and it seems to dissolve very quickly. So that's just counterintuitive. Benzene is not water soluble. So while at it, let me try it in isopropyl alcohol, let me try it in acetone, and I'll put one. So one of these is water, one is isopropyl alcohol. Let's see what happens. This is amazing. It's been 12 minutes, probably 14, and look at it. This is water. Much of it has been basically broken up. I really don't know what the Chinese are doing, but yeah, it breaks up in water. No effect so far, nothing that we can notice in acetone. And nothing again that we could notice in isopropyl alcohol. And that is actually only 70%. So there's 30% water in there and it's not breaking up. But in direct water, I mean, look at it. It's almost completely mashed up. Let me see if I can find them. Oh gosh. Or no, they're almost completely broken up.